Good afternoon friends, it's Sol coming at you with another video and as you can probably see from this opening shot it's all things KISS today. Um, just a quickie, uh, I was asked privately about the bits and pieces I have, this band I love, um, they've always been around in my lifetime, sad they're calling it a day but who wants to see their heroes fade away into obscurity. These these guys are going out at the top. Stage shows are raucous. The money they spend on pyros is outrageous, but they've always reinvested and they've become this big because they've entertained the planet. I know they're from New York City, but the regular visitors over here in the UK and the shows have always sold out. They've had the final bow, uh, finishing off at the O2 in London. And uh, I shall miss them. But like I keep telling people, nothing lasts forever. And I will bathe in the warm afterglow of the legacy they leave, the music. You know, it's uh, not overly complicated stuff. But nor is the Ramones. And, uh, you know, the Ramones were as popular as anything as well. I think what we've got here is... Eternally four, four great showmen and theatrics mixed in and it makes for a complete show. So so what you've got here is 10 pieces, all Johnny Lightnings, uh, a series of six pickup trucks and the famous four dragsters. Um, I was lucky enough to catch a guy who was getting rid of his Johnny Lightning collection on eBay and so I paid the ridiculous price of one ninety nine uh, per model. So you're looking at twenty pounds for the whole kit and caboodle in front of you, and I still pinch myself now when I think back to that night. You know when it it kept coming up. Congratulations, you've won the bid. You've won the bid. You've won the bid over and over and over again, and. Uh, like I say, anything you do in life, no matter how good you are, you always need a little bit of luck. And uh, by heck, Lady Luck was shining on me that night. So, we'll start with the dragsters. You've seen these up on the wall, but I brought them down. Four members, four dragsters. This one's obviously Paul Stanley. They come in an hard shell anyway. Um, this series was produced in 1999. And... They always gave away a KISS collector's card. Which is a smart way of getting you to purchase more, I guess. And obviously on the back of the card there is the 1 to 50 series and what that entails. So this one's Paul Stanley. All metal pieces. I say the dragsters, we know this because there's your parachutes on the back. Real Riders, Goodyear Tyres, um, details front and back, as you'd expect with Johnny Lightning, and there, uh, some lovely flame work and a red spoiler with a KISS logo on, and more importantly, Paul Stanley's lithographic signature across the bonnet, and if I turn it that way, you should be able to see, there we go, his face. From all the solo albums. So I'm guessing. That's what this commemorates really. The release of the four solo albums. Of which I had all of them. So that's your first one Paul Stanley. Second up. His partner in crime. The bad bad demon. Gene Simmons. Again lovely artwork. Bonus photo card there you can see. Like I say, they've all got the card in. Same as the back, back artwork on Paul Stanley. And there's Gene Simmons. Same again, different coloured spoiler parachutes. Detail on the front. Flames with a KISS logo on that rear spoiler. And once again, Gene Simmons lithographic signature. And just by me thumb, his individual image with him trickling a little blood. From his solo album. Number three, Peter Chris, drummer. Again, most of you all know this band. 
If if you don't know this band, you'll have had to have been living in a cave for the most of your life. Again, so they're, for, they're following the same formula, same layouts, front rear details, highlighted parachutes, KISS logo on the rear spoiler, flames on the roof, and once again, Peter Chris's signature, and that lovely image taken from his solo album. If you remember the solo albums, all these images appeared on them and they all had a theme colour like blue, red, green, yellow. And there's one of my heroes, the Space Ace, Ace Freely. Still going around playing Freely's Comet. And uh, again, same logo. Same details. Don't have to dwell on that. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. And again, if you'd focus for me, that'd be lovely. There we go. Ace Freely's signature and the image of his solo album. One ninety nine a piece. These, well, these are a series of pickup trucks and... I'll start with my least favourite, moving up to my favourite piece, and I'm sure you'll see why and agree when I show you. But again, cracking artwork. Band shot in flames. All of these again, like the last lot. Rear, uh, real riders, uh, Goodyear rubber tyres. Um, this one, they're all individual designs. Kiss on the roof. Some kiss eyes on the bonnet there. And this one is a 1971 El Camino. It's fine. I mean, it's it's a quality piece. What do you expect from Johnny Lightning? Again, all of these. A mere £1.99. I could not believe my luck. So that's that one. Slightly better in my eyes because of the classic design. Uh, this is the 68 El Camino. You just tilt me light a little bit. That's better. Yeah, 68 El Camino. Uh, we've seen that sort of design used by Johnny Lightning before. But I like the white edging on the rear edges there. Band logo on the doors. Highly detailed. Beautiful piece. I'm just whizzing through these because I just wanted to put a little quick video together today just to feature Kiss. If any of you know of any more in any other Kiss series, please let me know. I'm not aware of any, but then <laughs> I live in England. So anyway, this is a 76 Dodge. Beautiful casting. Look at the flames on that. Chromed out. Same sort of design on the roof there. Look, the flames are accentuated. Kiss logo. Couple of nice exhaust stacks there. Nice detail on the back. Nice detail on the front. So there we go. My fourth favourite. Another one of these crowned out models. All the card work. Uh, Artwork, artwork, sorry, is generic, so there's no point in dwelling on that. Um, and this is the 91 GMC Cyclone, Cyclone with an S. Again, that finish, it's almost like a rose, rose-coloured chrome, picking up blue accents on the fronts. Good detail, lights in there. Backs are simplistic, you know, where your storage is. Even details like the windscreen wipers there. Um, this one hasn't got kiss on the roof. Or if it is, it's so sort of I can't pick it up. But but again, and there's your classic GMC grill at the front there. Sorry about that. My lighting's terrible at times. But yeah, and now we're, not, we're moving on to my two favourite pieces by Miles. And I think you might see why and hopefully agree. 
So what we've got here is a 1929 Ford A. Uh, I mean, look at that. That's not shabby at all, is it? Absolutely love this casting. Um, tilt it a little bit. You can see the engine exposed there, look. You just have that uh, double-inged flip-up uh, lid in it on the front engine. Again, bit of wood represented on the back side there. Kiss logos on the door. Again, no Kiss logo on the top. But the flames just go into a little dusting of gold on that top edge, which is a nice little feature, I think. Flames on the front fender. Again, all these are real, real riders, all metal pieces. And again, let's see if I can cast a little bit more light on that. Not really. But yeah, that's a thing of beauty. Real, real happy to own that one. And finally for this video, this is my absolute favourite piece. Of the Kiss collection, and that's because it's in a a Spectra flame. I don't even know what is it. it. It's sort of ready gold. I don't think the gold overrides the red or vice versa. It may be a rose gold. Maybe that's a a better depiction of it. But that is absolutely stunning. And I think even out outside the Kiss collection. I would say that's probably one of the finest pieces I own. I look at it every day. I just I just walk past it and I smile. Some nice features on the back there. This is 1948 Ford. But again, look at the detailing on that nose. It shines. Lovely, not over the top, white flames that are accentuated on the door and that front fender again. And this is one of my favourite pieces. It just is perfection in my eyes. Again, this is uh, a time period when Praying Mantis were the Johnny Lightning owners. And I think this is a bit special. So yeah, that's it. Just a quick one today. Just to show the kiss after one or two people had contacted me and said how about it's all. So there we go. Your wish is my command. So long as it's reasonable. I hope you're all having a good day. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.